Good evening guys and welcome back to another video here in Delhi. Ab kaise hai my friends who speak Hindi. I am here with the British legend Harry and then I'm here with my brother Raul. Raul is local to India if you saw two videos ago I explained to you guys he is from a city north of Delhi and he is going to be traveling with me for the next uh, quite a few days. Lots and lots of videos coming up ahead and so we are actually heading out right now over to a delicious place to eat in Delhi. We're kind of just strolling around from where we are staying at, at the Ambassador Hotel. And about 10 minutes away, we were recommended to go to a food street area where we should be able to find some amazing Indian cuisine. So guys, as we say, let's go chalo. All right guys, so we are walking along. I will say it's interesting right now in Delhi because it, it feels like what fall time feels like in the United States. There's like leaves all over the ground here, guys. So like, it just feels like fall weather. But let me tell you, it just looks more like fall weather, but it feels still very hot. Even in the evenings, I would say it's probably a proper 25, 28 Celsius uh, walking around at this hour and it's almost 8 p.m. already. So comparing that to when we were in Munar, guys, uh, like a week and a half ago, that was super, super chilly around this time. You know, you had to have sweatshirts, pants on, and then you'd be at a comfortable temperature. So we are almost there and we'll see you when we get there. Guys, and here we are at Pandara Road. So it's these gates we're walking into right now. A little bit further Pandara up. Road, ah, this is Pandara. All right, so I guess we're going to be going a little bit further down this way, guys. We've got the policeman there. How do you say good evening? Okay. Namaskar. Passing all the police right now. There we go. Namaskar, namaskar. And let's see. Namaskar. <laughs> They're like, what's going on over there? Why does he have a spotlight on him? Wow. And here we are, Pandara Market. Now that's what we were looking for. Namaskar, my friend. And this is the market this way. <laughs> there it is. Pandara Road Market. And what does that say on there? It says like and subscribe to Harry Jagard. <laughs> there we go. And Mac. And, uh, and Raul. Raul. Alright guys, we are entering into the food market here. It's a little bit less of like a street, uh, it's definitely not a street food type of stall but it's a place where we have a bunch of different types of food here. We've got Indian food, we've got Chinese, Japanese. I wanna say that's also Indian. Most of them are Indian, yeah. So quite a few options. And you even have a uh, token Baskin Robbins to toss a little Western chain in there. So I guess the question is, where do we wanna go? What do you got in mind, Raul? Let's see, I'm vegetarian and... Perfect. Well, I, get, I bet we've gotten uh, veg options at all of them. Yes, yes, sir. Perfect. Veg and non-veg both. All right, perfect. Chalo then. Here we go, bro. All right, we got gulati we're going to go to. As you can imagine, if it says great Indian food, that's got to mean it's going to be great. So uh, let's chalo right in here and see what we got going on. Awarded the best. Best butter chicken? Oh, you know what that means. Multiple awards, even on Zomato and a couple others. All right, well, I guess the question is, do we need reservations? And if not, can we get a spot? Hello, good evening. Ab kaise hai? Hey, TK, TK. Uh, we're looking for uh, a table for three people. Very long wait, sir. Very long, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So that means it's a popular place. Uh, okay. That's your name? All right. My good name is Mac. And your good name? Mac, Mac. Aap naam kya hai? OP, OP. OP. Nice to meet you, OP. It's a pleasure. Is there any way to uh, uh, speed it up? I will drive you. Thank you, my friend. Talk to our bro over here. Hello, brother. Uh, so, 45 minutes. Do, do we need to put our name on a list? Only your name is required. Mac. Mac, yeah, you got it on the list. Perfect. So, you'll call us then? Yeah, we'll uh, speak your name once the table is ready for you. Danivad, bye. Thank you. All right, the timer has begun 45 minutes and counting. So, that'll give us even more time to get these bellies ready to load them up. You hungry, bro? 
little bit. A little bit, all right. You hungry? Very hungry. All I've had to say is a Pokeball. We're gonna be calling him Harry Doll Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, we have some time to burn here, and I just noticed there's some arcade games back here, so let's check them out. Oh, yeah. All right, so how do we play? <clears throat> we need coins, yeah? Two coins each. The question is, how do I get my hands on some coins? Oh, I have four coins. You got coins? 20 rupees per coin. Hmm? 20 rupees per coin. Oh, 20 rupees per coin, yeah? So you got coins here, brother? 20 rupees uh, per coin. Oh. Okay. Miss Mirja! Miss Mirja! Let's give another two coins. Two coins, yeah? All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Dani Avad, bye. All right, guys, so we've got two coins here. It's time to see how good I am. We've got to scope out exactly what we're going to try and grab first. I'm thinking the pink teddy bear. Or what do we got over here? We've got a Mickey Mouse. Actually, the Mickey Mouse, I feel like, is the better one. All right, let's go ahead and get these things loaded up. We got one, we've got two. All right, here we go. Don't even know how to use this thing. Let's go this way. Move her back. Oh, oh, it doesn't even go all the way back to where that is. Alright, we're going for the pink. Abort mission. Or is that the safest bet? I'm not I think the pink. What do you think? I would also say pink but it looks a bit too easy. Alright, here go we go. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh! oh. No! I had that, you see that bro? It just like, when it hit the top, then it went boom. I guarantee you, Harry gets it now. No, I've never, I've never won anything at arcade. Sir, one coin purchase One coin purchase. What's that? Should you have, what's that? You need two coins. Oh, two. Oh, jeez, you're making good money over it. Yeah, Harry's thinking he's getting a 50% discount. Not today, my gay. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, you said fine. Right. Hello. Oh, all right. All right. Come in. We're ready. All right, Chalo. Ready. Go warm up. I don't even know how you do this thing. You reckon that's good? There's no way. There's absolutely no way. It's rigged. It's rigged. <laughs> Shukriya! Yeah, yeah. Good effort guys, but we'll have to try again. Oh, Shukriya! Hello, my son! Hello, hello! My friend, so did Harry make it? Yeah. No, no. Oh, he didn't get it. Okay. Let's go! So guys, we are sitting down here. We're about to order some dealish stuff. But I think today's one of the days I'm going to have to ask our good waiter here if he can tell us what to order. Okay. Robin. Robin. Nice to meet you, Robin. So, I am looking for your number one most popular item on the menu. You want to I got a starter sample. Yeah, whatever you recommend. I started from Lato Fox and Murmalai Tikka and Laser Kawak. This one right here? Yeah. <laughs> and the main course will be butter chicken and sandwiches and our restaurants. Oh, alright. So, we have a lot of different options. I honestly don't know what to order, so I'll take your recommendation. Sir, one spicy chicken tikka, boneless pieces. Perfect. Let's do that. Boneless? That sounds delicious. And then also for a beverage, can I have a uh, fresh lime soda? Do you want a sweet salt mix? Yes, please. Sweet salt mix? Yeah, let's do the sweet salt mix. That sounds good. Would I go sweet? Yeah, sweet. One knock? Yeah. I think that sounds good, yeah? I don't know. Should I get anything else? I don't really know what I'm ordering, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm gonna get a cheese garlic naan as well. I don't know if you got a food then. Yeah, let me get a uh, cheese garlic naan also, please. Is that enough food, bro? Do you know? I think yeah. it is. It is? I, I actually didn't know what so maybe then. I got uh, Merg Malai Tikka. Yeah. That's enough for one person. Yeah. Is that enough? Five, four, six pieces, one dishes. One more tikka. And do you want to butter chicken? Uh, I think so. I, yeah? Alright, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Anything? Uh, I hope that's all. I think that's enough food. 
Yeah. Perfect. So guys, we have the food on the way. It's gonna be about 20, 25 minutes for the good stuff. As you can see here, look at all of these awards on the wall up there. You have probably like, I don't know, it feels like hundreds. There's some photos mixed into there, but you have like an award from every single food outlet source I've ever heard of and more. So I find that to be uh, very interesting. We even have some good comments on there. I am a food freak, but very particular about the exact flavors. One must check out the Rampuri vegetable biryani, which is perfectly cooked. You hear that, bro? Biryani. Uh -huh. Biryani for the British line. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, it's perfect. That's incredible. Guys, look at that. That has like a juicy coating of sauce on it. And it smells incredibly delicious. We've also just had the lemon lime soda dropped off here. This is like an Indian favorite. It's like a carbonated lemonade. I feel like it'll be nice for digestion. Some bubbles in there, and we're gonna jump right in. And we have, uh, looks like we only have spoons. All right, guys, we have the fork and knife now, so now we can slice it right up. As you can see there, juicy chicken. I'm gonna try it without any of the green sauce first so I can just know exactly what the flavors of the chicken are like. Mm. Oh yeah, that sauce on it's like a creamy paste. Lightly spiced, but super delicious. Chicken's cooked very well. Chewy, delicious, like at the perfect temperature right now. Not too hot to eat. Now let's try it out with a little bit of this green sauce there. Put some of that on the table. And here we go. Take a nice bite-sized piece there, dip it in. Mm -hmm. oh, that's even better. The green sauce just adds another zing to it. I don't even know how to describe these flavors because a lot of these flavors in India are still very new to me. But I can tell you, this is uh, one of the best pieces of chicken I've had since I've arrived to India already weeks ago. Mm. And I'm starting to understand why this place has won so many awards. They put a lot of time and effort into cooking everything well. As you can see, like breaking through some of this chicken, it's all evenly cooked throughout it. I noticed that when I was taking a few bites. One more on camera, guys. Mm. That is G O O D. Good. Guys, I love that. Oh, we've got more butter. This is the butter chicken right there? Oh, this is the butter. Oh, perfect. Oh, oh. Cheese garlic naan. Oh my god. That is going to be so good. I love myself some good garlic. The smells of it are just surrounding me. Guys, I haven't even finished this delicious chicken. I'm already surrounded with these, so. Wow. Speed through. I'm gonna set this chicken aside for sure eating that. Well, let's get a little bit of, oh yeah, that's fresh out of the oven. Let's get a uh, solid scoop right there. Uh-huh. Yum. There we go. Send this over your way, bro. And as you can see here, we've got the uh, garlic naan. Oh yes, 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 yes. All right, the garlic naan is hot, guys. I'm gonna try, as usual, a little piece of it with nothing else on it so I can get a proper taste. Mm. Strong, overpowering garlic taste to it, which I love. Mm. Cheese is a little bit lighter comparatively. Mm. But it's very nice, cooked a good amount. A chew in the middle and on top, and then a nice crisper side here. We're going to get a little bit, actually, you know what? We're gonna make this custom first. We're gonna grab some of this last chicken. And then you get spice. You're gonna make it into a wrap. A little mini burrito, bro. How'd you know? <laughs> Predictable? Yep. So here we go, we'll try it out. Mm. Ooh. Let me tell you that anytime I make something into a burrito, it just adds to how much I love it. Actually, I'm probably wearing half my meal now, so I might as well toss this thing down there. And then we're gonna try out the uh, buttered chicken now. So we're gonna try this without the garlic, and just straight away. Mm. 
Oh, that's very nice. Much different flavor than the first chicken here. You have a much like um, stronger, overpowering taste from the from the sauce itself. That's mm. very nice. Guys, I'll tell you, I can't get over how well that chicken is cooked because that is what my mind keeps focusing on. But this one's a bit more spicy than the first one, but still quite nice. Mm. Fantastic. Guys, and so what we've got here actually is one we haven't tried yet. This is one that Raul was kind enough to offer me off of his course he ordered, and basically it is the vegetarian option here. You can see there, and what's the exact name for this one? Paneer? Panitika? Panitika. So this one's the Panitika, guys. We're going to try it out, make sure it's covered with the sauce nicely. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is nice. It's very chewy. It tastes almost a little bit like tofu. Like a cousin of it, I guess. But it's very nice, especially with that sauce, the red sauce on there. I like it. But of course, you guys know me. Chicken's one of my favorite foods, so that'll be number one still. All right, guys, the cool part about this, and I've seen this at a couple other restaurants, is that they bring you out nice, warm water, even with a lime in there, to clean your paws off. So we got that all clean. I did have a little chicken grease on there, not chicken grease, on non-oil grease. And now we are ready for desserts. Once we get the bill and pay, I'll share with you guys how much it was. Um, in just a moment. Danny Abad, thank you so much. This looks amazing, guys. So we have this fruit right here. Oh, yeah. Fruit with some spices on there. And as you can see there, that is a proper scoop to get a good taste of it. Here we go. Oh, baby. That is incredible. It's almost like a, uh, similar to an ice cream, very sweet, kind of like, it tastes like mango, and oh my god, guys, I'm loving it. So I guess that means we're having two desserts today. Mm. Guys, and the last bite right here, mm. oh baby, that was good, that was so good, and really nice of them to bring it out. I thought we were about to call for the bill, and then all of a sudden, disappeared. So big compliments to them, that was very kind of them. And, oh, perfect. Common form here too, we'll be, we'll be giving very good ratings. And so guys, we got the bill here, 3,326 for all three of us to eat, all of that. So that's three drinks, uh, one per person, multiple chickens, and the vegetarian option as well, some garlic naan. And that comes out to just over $40. I wanna say it is about $43, $44 for that so to have that at one of the best restaurants in Delhi I'd say that's quite a good price I'm content my belly's full let's head out to go get that dessert oh it's very delicious 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 yeah very good very good you guys are from Delhi you're from Delhi very nice a second time here I'm from Chicago in the United States. Good to meet you guys. Enjoy your meal. Alright, shalom my friends. Alright guys, we're gonna go on a little bit of a dessert hunt here. I must say I'm feeling uh, pretty full after that meal, especially because we had that surprise dessert at the end. But honestly, some ice cream, a brownie, something like that's calling my name. So let's chalo this way and see what we can find. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Guys, I can't believe we're going to Baskin Robbins, but I think it's a must. Namaskaram. All right, so. Yes, we're going to Baskin Robbins, but uh, sometimes you gotta do it if we wanna go for the brownies, so. Let's uh, see what we've got going on here. Namaskaram! <laughs> you you oh, Namaskaram. Yeah, I'm getting things confused. Habibi. Kese uh, Hobai. Tike, Tike. Um, let's see here. Kidney Rupee uh, ice cream. Brother. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> lava cake. Get in my belly. One lava cake, please, brother. Oh, that, oh, 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 bro, that it's gonna be delish. Guys, if you've been following along for a while, you know I love my lava cakes. It's like my ultimate guilty pleasure. 
We've even got Harry hooked on the lava cakes. Oh, yeah. And the question is, Raul, have you had a lava cake? Yeah. Yeah, you have? So make that two? Yeah. Yeah? All right. We'll make that uh, two lava cakes, please. Okay. Down here by five. And so it looks like a chocolate lava cake here. 85 rupees. That's uh, roughly one US dollar. So very good price here for oh, no, delicious. Are you sure? Uh, oh, no. That's just add chocolate lava cake. Oh, so I might be wrong. Okay, please. Uh, Ah, over there. Sunday's over there. So 189. All right. So we're talking about uh, 220 USD. 240? 240. 240. Yeah, very good price. Trust me. To be honest, I'll pay any price for a lava cake because I'm addicted. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Well, this is the chocolate lava cake. Num, num, num. All right. We're just gonna dig right in here. The boys are kind enough to let me go first. And as you can see there, we've got the ice cream. And we've got the lava oh, cake right there. Oh, baby. Let's go straight in. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, they get better and better every time, I tell you. It's such a guilty pleasure for me. And the, uh, like I guess you could call it the brownie or the cake type of um, surrounding on the lava cake. It's super chewy. That hot chocolate sauce mixed with the ice cream, just the infusion of all of that. It just gets me every time. Mmm. If there's literally one dessert I could eat for the rest of my life, 1000% lava cakes. Anytime I see it on the menu, even if it's like a day that I don't plan on eating dessert, I'm getting myself a lava cake. Are you team uh, lava cake or are you team uh, brownie? Both. Both. All right, that's, that's a very yeah. diplomatic answer. Yeah. Very fair answer. Yeah, to be honest, the brownie and the ice cream is very delicious too, but mmm. Fantastic. Oh, I got chocolate sauce all over. That's how you know I liked it, if it's all over my clothes. Can you have it? Donny Avad, bye. Thank you so much. Thank really, you, really you. appreciate Thank it. You. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, we have just finished up. Our last step of the meal was the Baskin Robbins. As I already showed you guys, we've got two chocolate drops on my shirt, which means I definitely loved it. I probably have some even in my teeth. But uh, anyways, guys, yeah, really delicious meal today. Great, great start to trying some delicious food here in Delhi. If you saw yesterday's video or two days ago's video, we did that street food tour and now we showed you more of the fancy side of Delhi. And let me tell you this, it did not disappoint. Wow, I love the food that I've been trying here, guys. So really hope you've enjoyed coming with us tonight on this food, mini food tour. And so if you guys want to see more videos both here in India as well as all around the world, hit that subscribe button. And if you guys enjoy this one, smash that like button and I will see you guys tomorrow.